okay so you want to be able to copy an excel table into word we'll look at various different ways you can do this and hopefully one of those ways will work for you so i've got some blood sample data here i'm going to click into it in excel Control a to select the data set Control c to copy then i'm going to click into my word document Control v to paste just expand word okay so you can see the data here there's obviously some problems we can't see the cholesterol data now the way to get around that is to select the table and you can do that by clicking on this little control here top left of the table you can then go to the table layout tab on your ribbon if you go to the auto fit button and then auto fit window that will fit the table to the document now to change the width of these data columns i could just select those columns and then if i go up to this auto fit button and choose fixed column widths i can then specify a column width using this box here so i can use these up and down arrow keys to do this and then i know i've got exactly the same column widths for these columns the only problem i've got there is with this column heading one way you could get around that is just to decrease the font size for that particular column heading now if you want to spruce up the look of your table just click somewhere inside it if you go to table design on your ribbon you've got this table styles gallery and you can just select a table style that takes your fancy now to change the color of the column headings here i can just click to the left of that row and then change the font color okay so that's the first method just a basic copy and paste into word now the second method what we're going to do is in our word document go to insert table and then use this option here excel spreadsheet so then what i'm going to do is click into my excel spreadsheet and select the data so control a control c to copy then click into this excel object within my word document and control v to paste then i'll expand word so what i can do is resize this excel object within the document and then if i click outside the document i'm going to see how it appears on the page so there's quite a few issues here so if i want to edit this excel object i just double click in it again i might try to resize the object now i can auto fit these columns just by selecting them across the top there and then double clicking on the lines between the letters here so if i double click that will auto fit the columns now this is going to be way too wide for the document so what i can do is go up to these column headings and for example if i click before the d of date in that column heading and then use alt enter it will bring date down onto a separate line within that cell so i can do the same here here so then what i can do is auto fit the columns again so if i select them then just double click on the lines between the letters and that looks a lot better so if i click outside the table you can see how this will look within my document now i've got this extra column here but to hide that all i need to do is double click back into the excel object go to view up here and then hide grid lines and then if i click outside the excel object you can no longer see that additional column now if you want to spruce up the look of your table double click in it again click somewhere in the data and then go up to the format as table button this is on the home tab and then choose a design for your table click on ok if you want to get rid of these drop down buttons just untick filter button and that's on the table design tab click outside your table and this is how it's going to appear in the document okay let's move on to the next option so this time i'm going to click into my excel data Control a to select it Control c to copy it 
then click into my Word document. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this Paste button, and that's on the Home tab of my ribbon, actually clicking on the drop down part of that Paste button. And then I'm going to select this option, Paste as Picture. I'll expand Word. Now this is essentially a picture. The downside of using this method is I can't actually edit any of this data because it's just a picture. I also can't format it as we did with the previous two options. If you've already formatted it in Excel, that's probably not an issue. Okay, let's move on to the last option. So with this option, I click into the data in Excel, Control A to select it, Control C to copy it. Click into my Word document. Then I go back to this Paste menu and then I'm gonna to go to Paste Special. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna paste a Microsoft Excel worksheet object. So if I click on OK, I'll expand Word. Now it doesn't all fit on the page, but if I select the object, I can resize it. So you can see it resizes all the columns, everything fits on the page nicely. Now in terms of formatting this data, if I double click on it, you can then see I get all the Excel tools up here on the ribbon. So I could go to Format as Table, choose a format, click on OK, click outside the object, and you can see it's formatted within my document. I might need to resize it again. Now if I wanted to get rid of the drop downs, all I need to do is double click back into the object, go to Table Design and untick Filter Buttons. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.